Hello, this is David again. Uh, if you watched my previous video of putting the uh, Marmot Sanctum tent together, uh, as I mentioned, I did not stake it down because I was going to wash it and then uh, waterproof it. It's a 10-year-old tent. It's got a few uh, marks on it, not too bad. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, Marmot recommends Granger's or uh, Nick Wax. I got uh, Granger's dual care kit for tents right here. And uh, it includes uh, the tent cleaner and uh, the tent waterproofer. Uh, here's the tent cleaner. It's only a four-step process. Basically, you're going to wet down the tent. Uh, you apply uh, the cleaner. Then you get a brush uh, and uh, brush over the surface. And then you finally rinse the fabric. Now, I've selected two different brushes. I'm going to start with this one. Hopefully, it'll do it. It's a little softer brush. Uh, to brush it with. If that doesn't work, I've got one here. It's a little st stiffer nylon uh, brush that I'll use. And then uh, finally, once it dries, uh, I'll have to take a probably maybe a separate video on it, is I'm going to put the uh, tent waterproofer on because the tent uh, has to be completely dry uh, before you apply this. And this is basically a uh, two-step process. You spray it on uh, as evenly as possible all over the uh, rain fly and then uh, you just wait it to wait till it dries and then it's done I'll be doing the rain fly and the bottom of the tent uh, once once it dries so anyway that's all it takes and uh, I guess I better do a little caveat here I'm no expert this is the first time I'm doing this so uh, uh, I'm just going by the instructions on the bottle and hopefully I do it right and uh, hopefully you can get something out of this uh, video if you've never uh, cleaned or waterproofed your tent. Thank you. I've got the hose out now, so I'll spray it down and then we'll start applying the cleaner and clean the uh, Marmont tent. Tell you what, it's looking pretty waterproof as it is. I don't know if the gentleman I bought it from has waterproofed it since he bought it or not, but it's uh, beating up really well and it's running off. Hopefully you can see that where the sun's on it, but still got a pretty good bead on it. So I uh, put water on the tent as per the instructions and uh, we're going to put on the spray here, the simple off and on on the spray bottle. Got a bad mark right here, kind of a black mark. Hopefully that will come out. I'm going to make sure that you get it over the entire tent. I'm taking like one panel at a time. They're separated by the seams here. remember if I got this section or not, so I'll go over it again. Uh, this says that it covers uh, 275 milliliters and approximately 60 square feet, an average two-person tent plus the rain fly. I'd say I've got a third of the bottle left right now. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using a soft brush to start with. If that doesn't uh, get the dirt off, then I'll use a little stiffer brush. I'll start with a, the hardest part here. It's definitely uh, fading that out. We'll let it uh, soak for a soak for a while. Maybe that'll improve the results. 
again, I'm taking it panel by panel. I can see some uh, dirt coming out in the droplets. mentioned a little earlier I put a little extra spray up here on this dark spot after I had scrubbed it. I think what I'll do now is I'll use this uh, little stiffer brush and put a little water on it. Take it out a little bit. I'm not scrubbing real hard. Certainly don't want to damage the tent. There's a little black mark back here. Runs all along this one hole. Probably can't see it, but the seam is right here. Looks like it's all coming out though. At least 90% uh, of it. Again, since I didn't know what type of marks these were, hard to tell whether the Granger is doing a super job or not, but uh, it looks like most of the marks are gone. So uh, I definitely give it a four, four and a half out of five star rating on this Granger tent cleaner. So let's do the final step, which is to rinse the tent after cleaning it. I won't be able to tell until it's perfectly dry, but it uh, looks like the marks came out. The ones up here, down here, over here. So it uh, looks like it did a good job. So I'll uh, make another video showing you uh, how to waterproof the tent, or my uh, best effort at waterproofing the tent. And But of course we'll have to wait till this tent dries before we can do that. I'll probably stake it out in the, uh, in the lawn uh, so it's nice and tight and it's allowed to dry.